Actor Travis Tritt joins Dave tonight at midnight on TV8. From Cleveland's own 24-hour newsroom, Tim Taylor, Denise Dufala, Casey Coleman on sports, and Nick Goddard with weather. This is Cleveland's own News Center 8. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Here's what's happening, and how cold is it? Well, the Cuyahoga River is a rock-solid glacier tonight at the doorstep of a city that is also frozen solid. It's a night when bare skin can freeze in a matter of moments. Tears freeze on your face, and there aren't enough layers of clothing to keep you warm. It is a dangerously cold night when being stranded or homeless can easily mean death or serious injury. And as the mercury plummets, Mark is standing by with the latest Arctic figures that promise to rewrite the record books here in Cleveland. Mark? Right you are, Denise. This probably will be the coldest night we have ever had in weather history in Cleveland. Already many places now are as cold as 18 below in northern Ohio, as cold as 22 below down in Dayton. Let's go to the computer now, and we will be able to show you the wind chill index readings. Hopkins International, 41 below. It's 56 below at Burke Lakefront Airport. Also at Findlay and Toledo. There you see a 41 below at Dayton, 49 below at Columbus. At this point at Acton Canton, it is 53 below. Also at Youngstown, a 57 below at Mansfield. The actual temperatures now, as we take a look at those at Hopkins Airport, you'll be able to see 14 below already, 18 below at Akron Canton, a 17 below at Mansfield and Youngstown, 16 below Toledo, leader in the cold air clubhouse, 22 degrees below zero at Dayton and we're going to get much colder as we get past the midnight hour by sunrise tomorrow this very well again I've got to point out to you ladies and gentlemen will probably be the coldest night in weather history here in the state of Ohio accidents we've got them all over the place on I-90 near West 41st Street again a lot of the roadways are simply shut down salt simply does not work when it gets this cold you see the number of cars there that have slid off the side of the road tremendous number of accidents not only on I-77 down to I-490. They have closed that section going out of Cleveland. I-90 east and west, there are major problems there. There you see another accident that's uh, very near West 44th and West 41st and Clark Avenue on the west side. Again, driving is not recommended at all tonight. The best advice I have for you, please stay home, stay warm, stay safe as we go through the coldest night we've ever seen in weather history here in Cleveland. And of course, I'll have much more coming up later in the weather. Denise and Tim. Well, you heard, Mark, 56 below zero wind chill. No one would think of working outside on a record cold night like this unless it's their job. New Center 8's Kelly O'Donnell shares that unenviable task tonight with more than a few Clevelanders. Kelly is live outside in it to share their Arctic adventure. Kelly? Well, with all due respect to the weather record books, the people I met tonight understand and feel that this is Cleveland's coldest night ever, and you don't even need to see an almanac to know that. Now, many say if they have to be on the job, they're wondering if what they're feeling isn't a little Cold War office politics. Isolated in a parking booth igloo, Gina Davis is ready to cash in. It's not warm enough in here because it's no weather stripping around the doors. And when you open up the window, it's just like I get all the cross breeze and it's just cold. The sub-freezing cold bites through any layered clothing. So the only ticket she's taking is the one out of here. Attorney Ashvin Chandrasekhar is finding visibility cut in half. I was using this because uh, my face is getting really cold, uh, just to prevent myself from freezing. I mean, I figure that even if I can't see, I don't want to freeze, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but the city water workers' efforts are already on ice, and the orange cones are going nowhere. They just said on the radio that it's uh, minus 12, <gasps> with a wind chill of 49. What does it feel like? <laughs> it's like being in a, in a freezer. But it's hard to beat this guy's story. Delivering pizza outside, riding a bike in the cold. So cold, even the free delivery sign is shivering. Because they don't want to come outside. <laughs> they rather want to bring it to them. So figure this. The pizza gets a ride in an insulated pouch, while the delivery guy is pedaling against record cold wind. Now you have to wonder if they can create a pouch out of that insulated material. They ought to be able to create a parka and a suit for that poor guy. He made deliveries all evening. 
Now, you know from the forecast that this is a night to stay in your homes, but many people simply have no homes to stay in. On any night in Cleveland, there are at least hundreds, if not thousands, of people believed to be homeless. New Center 8's Martin Savage checked in on them. Marty joins us live, and, and how are they doing? Well, Kelly, here at the City Mission and at all the other shelters in and around the Cleveland area that we checked in on tonight, all the officials are telling us that the doors are open, all the shelters are open, they will accept everyone who comes their way 24 hours a day, all through the night, no one will be turned away, no questions are to be asked. Unfortunately, there will always be those who tragically do not take up on that offer. At the Harbor Light Complex downtown, the doors are open to any and all who come looking for shelter from the blistering and deadly cold. Tonight we're kind of filled up. Uh, fills up kind of quick when we have cold weather like this. Mm -hmm. Though the place is full, no one will be turned back despite what is usually a very strict drug and alcohol policy. Each night we pull uh, some guys aside at random and give them a sober meter test. If they pass the test, they can come back up to the room. If they don't pass the test? Yeah, well, on a night like this, we'd ask them to wait down in the uh, detox screening room. So they can stay there overnight? Mm -hmm. Harbor Light is the only place in the city that accepts whole families and offers them a place to stay. If not here, Dwight Lunkins would be out in the unthinkable cold. Well, it's a bus stop right on 18th and Euclid. Mm -hmm. And I would hang it around in there, and then I would go over to the um, submarine place, and I would, you know, buy something and get warm. At the city mission, the same open door policy is in effect at Cleveland's newest facility. This is a metal detector that we have for the homeless men to make sure they don't have any weapons or anything when they come into the building. Here, some 45 men are finding shelter and a hot meal and guidance if they want it. This place is a lifesaver not just from the cold, but from a fatal lifestyle. On a night when it's supposed to be 20 below? You gotta do what you have to do. You have to sleep where you can, um, live the way you can. But if it wasn't for this place, that's where I would be. Normally these shelters would turn these people back on the street in the morning. That will not happen. I don't know about today, but how many people left? Or did they, anybody? Nobody did? left. Everybody stayed in? Everybody stayed. But not all take the shelters. I checked on a man I know who lives in his truck in the flats. Has done for years. All right in there, George. Tonight we found that truck cold and empty. The man who calls it home was nowhere to be found. We can only hope that the man who lived inside of that truck came to one of the shelters tonight or some other place to stay warm. Again, stressing city officials at the shelters say there is absolutely no reason for anyone to have to be out of doors without a shelter over their head tonight. They are accepting everyone all through the night. No questions asked. The door is open. For goodness sakes, if you are out on the street or know someone who is, you can bring them here for their own health and for your peace of mind. Reporting live, Martin Savage, New Center 8, on a night that'll go down in the personal memory books. All right, thank you, Marty. And we have two more harrowing stories of people barely surviving the dangerous cold. A very dangerous weather night here in Cleveland. The wind chill index at Burke Lakefront Airport is at 56 below zero. Again, we're at 15 below now downtown. The minus 41 wind chill you see is at Hopkins. Again, the minus 56 downtown. Photographer Gary Korb in downtown Cleveland on what will probably be the coldest night and the coldest morning tomorrow we've ever seen here in Cleveland. So weather history is certainly being made tonight. Winds at this point now creating the chiller out of the southwest at 14. The humidity is at 66 percent. High barometer, Arctic high pressure affecting us 30.46. The barometer still rising. Just a trace of snow at Hopkins Airport. We've got 10 inches on the ground here, 13 on the ground at the Akron Canton Regional Airport from the heavy snow over the past couple of days and the PSI. One of the things that was was good about today. The number is at 32 and we should be in the good range again tomorrow. Here's our first warning now. You can see from that standpoint we have quieted down nicely here in Ohio. You do see some snow showers left over out to the east between Erie and Buffalo, New York. All-time record lows. If you want to make note of these, this is where we are at this moment. I am sure this is going to be changing. At Akron Canton over January 20th, 21, 1985. That, by the way, was an inauguration day in this country. They went down to 24 below zero. They're already 18 below at this point. Mansfield, uh, January 20th, was at 22 below.